Okay, so I suppose the question is, would I be okay if we grab Trey Young? I've been very open and vocal in saying that I'm not crazy about his leadership towards the Atlanta Hawks, but I definitely want to talk about this in particular. I want some Are we having fun yet? Trey Young made a comment towards our San Antonio Spurs, and it is uh, it is caused havoc. Uh, in the Spurs community, to say the least. Um, so we're definitely going to talk about that. Before we do, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description. Get yourself some merch, man. Uh, I think I have about six or seven people uh, to get to. So after that's done, I can finally get to whoever's after that. First come, first serve type deal. So if you guys want to support, please do link in the description or you can become a patron a youtube member that's only two dollars a month if you don't want to do any of that please for the love of god man uh just like and subscribe uh that that helps a lot too and one last thing all right now listen to me i want you to comment this time ice tray comment ice tray in the comment section that actually helps the algorithm uh quite a bit all right so if you guys don't know what's going on this will be a pretty short uh video but your boy trey young he actually commented on a post uh, in which the San Antonio Spurs, once again, it's been like a million times now, missed uh, Wimbanyama. Now, if you're wondering if this was real, because some people were like, is this actually real? Did he actually say something? Yes, uh, it's on Instagram here. Um, and this is the play that he commented on. Uh, should I? I don't think this would be copyrighted. All right. So as you can see, easy lob. And that's actually what he said. He said, that's an easy lob all caps easy lob um so even he's getting irritated by it which that's ridiculous like are you serious like to at this point look i'm not i'm not an nba player okay i know i'll screw it up all right and this is just me talking trash but i don't know i just have a vibe that like i think i could throw this up i, I don't know i don't know i maybe not but i feel like i could throw this up but yeah super easy and even Wimby's like really like uh, okay um <laughs> it's terrible it's, it's god awful how many lobs they're missing i saw some people try to narrativize it a little bit and say oh well you know it's because they want to get theirs i don't i don't think so i truly do believe that this team is just that bad at trying to find uh wimby the best player on our team at finding wimby in my opinion is like zach collins and then maybe it's trey jones um and then you might put sohan after that Pro more than likely probably malachi i mean it's it's not great Keldon, you know it's not great our, our our team is not great at finding him uh and when you say that the best passer on our team and the best connection you have is another center to wimby i i don't i don't like that and then even trey jones like okay the best connection you have to him is really essentially in the nba a backup point guard that that's not great either so doesn't make me happy uh makes me quite sad uh actually you should get a lot of assists when you have Wimby on the court. So let's go ahead and play devil's advocate, okay? Uh, as far as getting Trey Young. So it, it's it's nothing out there. There's no rumors or, or no like set in stone uh, reports about Trey Young wanting to come to the San Antonio Spurs. It's just been nothing but speculation. This comment alone and then a lot of Spurs fans just wanting him to come to San Antonio. So I'll give you my thoughts on it in a second, but let's play devil's advocate. So it's because I follow um, Eric Salinas. And I really like Eric, by the way. I think he has a lot of great takes. And this is one in which I think it's fine to sit back and, and actually have uh, a conversation about this. Um, so he says, I understand why younger adults would be infatuated with Trey Young. He's a really good player. It's the same reason young younger adults blow their money on pretty used luxury vehicles. Uh, over reserving and saving their assets, finances for more lucrative endeavors that will give them the chance at higher ceilings financially, short versus long-term vision. I've been there too. And I think it might have been another post as well in which he went more into detail on why he don't necessarily think getting Trey Young is a is, is a is a good move right now. And I, I'm going to say this, okay? I completely disagree with this. Now, I, I agree with like 99% of stuff that Eric uh, says, but I completely disagree with this only because Trey Young isn't necessarily like a used luxury vehicle. <laughs> I mean, obviously, literally, he's not. But I, I don't agree with it. And he's not the only one that says this. I'm just bringing up this tweet just to have devil's advocate here. But um, he, he's not 
yeah, he's not a, a used product. Trey Young is only, what, 24 years old? So he would be a year older than Devin Fassell? Let's see. 24, 25. He's 25. He's not that much older than Devin Vassell. And some players, okay, some players are so good, okay, so freaking talented to the point where any concerns that I have probably need to go out the window. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can find his other tweet because I think his other tweet was basically a little, a little bit more in detail. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a little better. Um, all this uh, infatuation with Trey Young. I understand circumstances are not ideal. I understand how impatient fans can be. I completely agree with that. I understand being at the bottom of a rebuild is temporarily painful. I agree with that. But I promise you, Trey Young is not the answer. He's been proving it in Atlanta and with a solid supporting cast. Yes, he makes good reads. Yes, he can shoot. Yes, he can pass. But with all that, you get no defense and target practice for opponents who bum hunt uh, his hit him defensively. You also get high value inefficiency due to his overextended and fancy shot selection. Hard, hard pass, especially for his uh, price. Too many are infatuated by mid-tier star names and hype. So, like I said, Eric's not the only one that feels this way. There's plenty of people also saying that I, I wouldn't necessarily go after Trey Young. You guys know I've been very critical of Trey Young, but even I will sit back and say his talent extends past any personal gripe or any uh, uh, issue I might have when it comes to his uh, personnel. And even this, even even going as far as to say this, okay, I'll even go this far. Even his defense, which is completely true, by the way. This is why I'm bringing up the tweet. It's completely true. His defense is not good, all right? Um, I mean, he's a cone out there. But with that being said, his offensive prowess is so good that it just surpasses it. Like he can he can outplay it. The problem right now is we have some players that can't necessarily make up for their poor defense. But he is one that could easily do it. I mean, he he creates so much offensively that you'll be totally fine. I'm not really concerned with the San Antonio Spurs getting a point guard that is defensive. I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. As you guys know, I'm huge on Cado, and Cado isn't like the best defender in the world. A lot of people saying that he might not even enter this draft or whatever. That's fine. I, I just really like him as a player, and I think that he's an elite passer. That's why I want him. As far as Spurs defense, I think all you really need is to add a wing defender, and you're good to go, man. Because as it stands right now, I mean, Jeremy Sohan, Wimby, and Devin Vassell, two of which are great to elite defenders, and I think Devin Vassell is just a really good defender. I mean, that that's all you need. Just adding another wing, and you can you can deal with Trey Young's not so stellar defense. Like you can still win uh, with a guy like that. So I'm not necessarily worried about that at all. If the Spurs were to do it, now I guess the question then would be, what would I be willing to give up for Trey Young? And I'll be real with you. I'll give up a lot. Now, there's certain players that I probably would. I'll, I'll just go as far as say this. Say this. There's certain players I wouldn't touch, okay? Wimby, Jeremy Sohan. Uh, I'll try to hold on to Malachi Branham and um, Devin Fassell. I feel like I would try to keep those players. Everyone else, I'm, I'm willing to negotiate. And then as far as draft picks, we have so many of them. I'm, I'm down to dump quite a few up to 2026 2027 like i i do not mind because trey young is that freaking good but i would try my best to keep our own picks as much as possible um but man oh man i am and this isn't one of those because i understand completely what he's saying because what eric is trying to say is well you know you're trying to do like a short-term um uh answer i don't think getting trey young this year saves our season i i don't i don't think that um, but how, however, I do think that in the next few years, if you were to have someone like Trey Young, yeah, you, you, you can still create a dynasty. I'm not necessarily worried about any of that. And Trey Young, while he's 25, he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Uh, let's just say, I don't know, the Spurs aren't ready to win until three years from now. Okay. Yeah. He'll be, he'll be 20, uh, 28, but at the same time, 
uh, as he gets older, which 28 is like around your prime, but once he gets older, even if he was in his 30s, I still think that his skill set is so uh, prevalent that he wouldn't even have to worry about any thing else necessarily like even when you look at Steph Curry like Steph Curry is getting a little bit older or whatnot does it really matter I mean he's still murdering you on the night in and night out because his skill set is so freaking good and it seems like stars are starting to last longer and long longer as time goes on probably due to sports medicine and just understanding the body a little bit better and everything but just overall man I I, I know I kind of babbled quite a bit but Trey Young coming to the Spurs would be phenomenal I, I I wouldn't have a problem with it whatsoever um and it and I don't think that I'm reacting in a way where it's like oh my god I'm so scared because we're not like playing well right now we absolutely need to go I'm not that tight I'm totally for the complete rebuild but if you have an opportunity to get someone like Trey Young I don't see why you wouldn't and this is leagues above everything else that people have said about well try to get did John take Murray back? Now, I don't get that. That makes no sense. Doesn't fit with our team at all. But Trey Young? Yeah, dude. He fits completely. Uh, he actually fits a... a uh, he fills a spot that we desperately need. Somebody that's an elite passer, elite scorer. I mean, that that's all you guys for right there. And he's not necessarily just like any star. He is a superstar. I mean, let's it's, it's not kid ourselves here. Um, and regardless of how I feel about, about him, if he were a willing participant as as far as saying hey yeah i do actually want to go to san antonio let's say that they said all right we're gonna go ahead and rebuild yes let's, let's do some trades and he he named us i'm with it i'm all for it so uh also let me look at it's just out of curiosity what has he posted lately nothing a whole lot of nothing uh but yeah Anyways, um, those are my thoughts on it. You guys let me know how you feel. Anyways, uh, you guys know how to support the channel. If you want to support, I'll get with you later. Till next time, bye.